Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Red 3 replay. Spawn on the right side as the red allies, we have you know. Spawn on the left side as the green Soviets, we have King Shu. Hello. Yep, just doing some Red 3 today. Or just casting Red 3 at least. I don't really play... I don't play Red 3 online, just like the cast replays. Let's see now. Got some walls, got a power plant onto the water, and we do have the an early airfield being deployed on out. He's maybe on, perhaps if he's bit, his bonus a bit slow, the combat engineer could be cleaned up. Vindicator is almost deployed. And the Vindicator has been deployed on out, no bomb rooms just yet. Yeah, the combat engineer should be able to, yeah, the combat engineer does secure up that oil derrick. And he's going to try forward with a bombing run, but there is a uh, canceled war factory there. It does go for a flak cannon. War factory being replaced right there. Oh, here we've got a bear rolling around or roaming around. Up north, we've got this bear patrolling. And we've got both the Rhino refineries for red, both runners for or not just yet, actually. Green going for that early war factory is going to really delay him. And plus a flak tower. He is struggling for income, probably. Or maybe he's just balanced his budget just right. The flat cannon is actually not actually fully deployed. It cancels it there for a refund, not wanting it. And we got the Vindicators now getting hit by these bullfrogs. Let's kill off one of those bullfrogs there. Try and pursue them best he can. Does go up north to avoid the bullfrogs. Very nice. So the bullfrog should manage to escape. Does receive some more bursts there. And he should manage to escape on out there. Over here, the Bullfrogs are making their advance, but there's now a multi gun turret to block their advance. That Terratron will need to stay away from that. He will need a Crusher Crane to repair up that Bullfrog. You have a single bear. He does load up those units. Patch I for a pair drop over here. Or pass the bear. He does pair drop the bear. Almost gets into the refinery line. But he will, of course, spot it. It's just going to be a heavy scout. He will want to make sure he gets a scout off so he can know what his opponent's going for. Another bear is up here. And we do got the MCV being redeployed there. Vindicare bomb run onto somewhere. Takes some good damage there. Does use cash bounty there to get a bit of refund on his own bullfrog. Does get the kill down that Vindicator as well. So two of the Vindicators, did all three of them go down? Just two of them. The third one almost went down. Terror drones roaming around. And we do have some more walls we deployed up by the Soviet player. But of course, we could see a multi-gunner turret deployed pretty far forward. Peace Gripper does manage to go around the wall, and more walls being deployed out there, and that, it looks like a full wall off. Sometimes hard to sell, but we do got a multi gun turret here. And does utilize a reactor to uh, line of sight block the multi gun turret. Farm Run does come on in, he does utilize the armor platings just in time before seeing any significant damage. We do have the core multi gun turret set to aggressive state, so automatically target nearby structures, which also does include walls. Here he's deploying out some more uh, wall segments. Oh, he must have a crusher crane somewhere. Then again, the, yeah, crusher crane right there. He does sell off that one multi gun turret here. This first one here does find a little angle there to engage, and now we have some javelin troops here. It's going to utilize a laser block on top of the ore refinery. So overall, the allied player is making a commanding presence on the center of the map. Wall segment does come on up the body or line of sight block the javelin troop. And there is at least one conscript in there. Maybe a good idea to just get that out of there so you can start to try to gun down these javelins. Well, Derek does go down. And looks like the garrison will be cleaned on up now. Does get out of the garrison now. No bombing runs onto that conscript. Vindicator is coming for a bomb run somewhere down south. 
and does cut down one of those old javelin troops there and hops in the garrison to protect himself from any uh, vindicators. Some hammer tanks have been deployed on out. Hammer tanks, of course, their leech beam can outrange multi gun turrets. Starting to be sound that multi gun turrets slowly cleaned up. We got the laser lock there onto that garrison. Conscript is going to find that peacekeeper and will be gunned down there. This wall is going to start to be cleaned on up. Getting some We'll get some good damage there. The Peacekeeper could advance, but no, it lays out some more walls if behind the Peacekeeper. Lots of walls everywhere. Motor Guard turret still has plenty of health remaining. We only have, what, two hammer tanks now? Trying to laser lock some of these units at max range. Bears from Charger 4 does get the roar off to save the uh, hammer tanks. Does get the kill there on one of those javelin troops. The other one. The hammer tanks will stay alive. Do got a desolator airstrike. To try to get those javelin troops. And that refiner did ate that bombing run there. Over here, some of these hammer tanks are slightly in range to the high ground multi gun turret. It's on to leech them down. Ooh! Was it the MCV being crushed? 3,000? That had to be the MCV. So, the Soviet player may be going all in. He's push pushed back pretty far, so he needs to be very aggressive. That looks like will be cleaned on up. He still has a crusher carrying though, so it's not really an all in. Does crush that uh, Peacekeeper there. Cryo Blast shot does come forward. If he's able to save this ore refinery or harvester, he'll be able to get a good refund there, but he does not. Another one of the multi-gun turrets have gone down. And he does destroy that multi-gun turret. He's gonna charge up forward with his uh, cannons equipped. Trying to start destroying some of this infrastructure. That's poison fat line on the front line. And we even got an air base on the front line as well. And that's a uh, fresh vindicator. Barracks does get sword on off. You will need to pass sell off the airfield. I think. Oh no, he's going way too far forward. Okay, that was a bottom run, not a uh, landing on the deck. You got a fresh multi gun turret, but against all these hammer tanks, it's going to be quick of cleaned off. And you can start selling off these uh, walls so it can start advancing through the sector. He's going to start trying chasing down the NCD now. Bullfrog seems to push the way forward. And the MCP does get one, two, three. Three crushes. Maybe that was four. It was a lot of crushes. And there's another crush there. The MCB is just grinding the reinforcements. That's supposed to be the jaws of the Soviet player. They're literally known for grinders. At least in Relic 3. Airfield's not on the She's likely building another airfield now. And the airfield does go down. Crush construction yard has rebuilt. I believe that was the airfield. Yep, airfield's all the way back here. MCD does get cleaned on up. Modicon turrets here. Does get some good whoa. P firing against this hammer tank who is just sort of dancing around in front of it. And the motor gun turret does in fact go down. Let's see now. Has it gone for a spud neck or anything of that sort? He still has refinery, perfectly fine refineries. All three of his refineries are going. He could build a Spudnik to redeploy out another refinery. He's sort of saving up. Maybe he's going for an MCB right now. It doesn't look like he's building anything at the moment. Let's 
two heroic hammer tanks, two veteran hammer tanks, and the terror drone will connect with the prospector. Vindicator run coming on in, two of them are elite, and does take out two veteran, not heroic, hammer tanks. May gets in pop pursuit, trying to get one of those heroic vindicators. And does not get the kill there. The automatic healing from the heroic veteran seat what saved him. The guy Riptide here does not get taken out by the Terra Drone. His hammer tanks are still just firing away against this or refinery. We got a twin blade here, but the oh picks up the ore collector. Very nice. He starts rebooting it. He could potentially sell, uh, grind it for a cash refund. I know as well that ooh, good bombing runs there. Now that's a fully heroic veteran and elite. No more heroic, no more elite vindicator. We've got hydrofoil here, and all the vindicators do go down, but all the MIGs go down as well. I noticed as well that the uh, pontoons of the ore collector <laughs> was still out, and actually it packed up when it went over land. That's sort of humorous to me. And he will go ahead and crush it. Javan troops are making their advances a fully elite, not fully uh, elite, an elite uh, bullfrog there. And we've got the Peacekeeper here, does get killed off by the war bear. The war bear could be taken out by these javelins, fully heroic war bear. And does use his own roar, hit these guys down. Yeah, those Molotovs out just in case the Peacekeeper were to pull up a shield, because the Molotovs one shot the shielded uh, Peacekeepers. Does take out one Dolphins there, leaving nothing but a skeleton. Out of curiosity, where did the whole thing that electrocution leaves nothing but bones? What was the origin of that? It really makes no sense. I think that's just like old sci fi tropes, probably. Multicolor IV receiving some fire there by Molotovs, literal fire, in the form of petrol bottles, or bottles filled with petrol. And the Vindicator will fall back. Multicolor IV is still receiving some fire there, but managed to dodge these Molotovs. Have hammer tanks pushing the way forward. They are starting to leech down some of these frontline multi gunner turrets. As we do have the javelin troop trying to go for a bit of laser lock. Motor gunner IVs do have a decent weapon against them, but they will be outclassed. Cryo again has come forward. One of the bullfrogs do get frozen, which can be very important because when there's one bullfrog remaining, it's easy to focus that down with the vindicators or cryocopters. He's actually not getting the. Okay, he does get the frozen one. Challengers are here to support. This unchilled one was pulling, was being held back by the chilled one. Overall, pretty quiet at the moment. Both sides are skimmer machine. We do got a battle lab. If you're still in the stream, you may see your Kirovs. Over here, looks like one Vindicator does go down to the Bullfrogs, as the Ore Collector did receive a bit of a beating, but he can take it. Up north, we do have an Akula sub. He goes to try to go for Ultra Torpedoes onto the Hydrofoil. 
failed and the Riptides of course have torpedoes to engage the Okulo sub. As long as this uh, Hydro Falls in the area, the Okulo sub cannot surface. And he's starting to hunt down that Okulo sub with his uh, high Riptides. Let's take out that battle, uh, Kulo sub. And now the naval dockyard will be going down. They did use cash bounty on the naval dockyard as well as the black cannon. And somebody's been before there. Maybe another Kulo sub? I guess we won't know. Could have been a stingray. A stingray popping out with using electric discharge could be really effective. Oh, we well do got Athena not being fought now, and that garrison actually was claimed by the Soviet player. So, that garrison going down will, of course, allow him some good spotting there. The hammer tanks could actually grab the Athena cannon. Oops. Okay, that was just repairs. I don't know why it looked like something got upgraded with it. Hammer tanks, bullfrogs, trying to regroup. The Athena cans could start pushing forward, use the Soviet walls as cover. We've got a V4. The V4 does fire one rocket and does roll a miss. And does a desolator airstrike as well, which he does avoid. And the aircraft for the desolator strike did go down. Not like it really matters. And it looks like the Allied player is low on power. Probably have some more V4s being deployed now. He could potentially use low ground to his advantage. There are some multiple crowd copters here. Crowd copters can be very effective for these V4s. Having the shrink ability, primarily not really to reduce the damage output, but primarily just to reduce the range is the biggest thing against the V4s because. V4's uh, whole deal is, of course, range firepower. Does get directed there on the multi-gun. Trace is going to try to start freezing it now. And, of course, the shrink down does uh, take effect for the damage reduction before oh, oh, applies to the rocket after it even gets fired. And there's a wide dispersal, it rolls a big miss there on the multi-gun turret, the multi-gun turret will be repaired on up. Down south we've got the Apollo, does find a cure-off. Satellite's now starting to rain on in here. Base of Sputnik, let's take up that one multi-gun turret. And the cure-off is, of course, can repair itself to a small degree, and starting to make its advance. Two multi-gunner IFVs are on the ground. Gains some good damage there onto the Kirovs. Up north we do have... Ooh, when the B4s do in fact go down. And looks like only one of the bombs that he went down was actually dropped by the Kirov. He didn't actually get a full bomb run off. Something was frozen there as well. Looks like there was a Cryo Blast of Cryo Geddon. Crowd get in. We got these hammer tanks on charging for. We got V force here to support as well. Starting to leech down the Athena, trying to give himself a free gun. And does not get the free gun there. He decides to un turn regular guns. There's still another Athena can here. Multiple javelin troops are in the region as well. The Kira officer trying to charge him forward, trying to deal with the infantry. Great hit there by the V4 on top of these infantry units. And it looks like Kirov will go down to the Javelin troops. Or maybe not. V4 is firing a rocket. Could be a wide dispersal rocket. Nope, gets direct hit on one of the Javelins, however. Multiple bears are over here. Perhaps on an ID. Ooh, that was a pretty good barrage there. Getting all those, getting good damage there on all those forces. 
Desolator Airstrike charging on forward. Just still the regular Desolator Airstrike. B4 does get chilled, frozen, and uh, lasered cannoned. Okay, we got a cool stuff. Multiple cool subs have been put now. Clean out the water expansion. And this area will be cleaned up as well. We do have a aircraft carrier. Kirov is still alive, slowly being healed on up. Losing the seaport wouldn't be a massive issue due to the fact that he already has enough naval forces to rule those seas for the time being. He does get the bomb run there, but he does lose the Vindicator in return. Fire there by the javelins. The wounded one is not being focused on as well, and the wounded one will get a couple of bombs off. Those will get kills. Something exploded there, and that Kirov will rely on top of that peacekeeper. No, it will not. Other Kirov is getting some massive hits there. They took up a lot of damage there for the hammer tanks across the infantry, but looks like weren't really successful. We've got a pair of prison mirage tanks now out in the field. The Kirov is going to drop a couple more bombs there. The carcass may land on top of the Athena cannon. Dealing some severe damage, doesn't get any kills there, but more bomb runs, getting some hits there onto the barrage tanks, so the Kirovs are getting great hits there on some of those heavier units, but he's going to lose all these Kirovs once again. Mostly just trying to force fire the ground. Crowd cop is pushed way too far forward, one of them do, does get killed off there, and the barrage tank does find a good snipe, and he was hiding right in front of him. Does get the freeze there on the terror drone and on this hammer tank, which I would assume the hammer tank would have been out of the range. More wall seconds are being deployed on out. And desolator airstrikes now know those satellites. I thought it was going to be desolator airstrikes, but regular satellites now bringing on in. Does get the kill there. Bear does do get some roars off, but not too significant amount, and the Mirage. The Mirage tanks now have a stream on four. That's five Mirage tanks. One of them severely wounded, but nothing really left in the air to take them out. Hammer tank does finish off one of them. It does have its own prism cannon now. But against those forces, it may be able to get a kill on the wounded ones, but it's going to get chilled and frozen. Granted, the freeze effect cannot be shattered by prism cannons. But it looks like the Soviet player will get overwhelmed. Yep, and the silver player has uh, surrendered. This is Anne Great saying thank you for watching.